Okay, guys, this one here we have is pretty funny. Well, I think so anyway, because as most will know and have likely heard, Boris Johnson loves his green agenda, possibly pushed by his eco-warrior cumbucket Carrie Simmons to the levels that we're seeing now anyway, because of course he supports them himself, but more so now than he did before, I would say. You might also know he plans to spend silly amounts of your money on this green agenda, with reports suggesting it will cost us £100,000 per household over a set number of years. This is something I know the British public duped into voting for the Tories certainly did not want and literally never will. That is before you even get into the bullshit surrounding this whole agenda, but that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is lunatic political parties pushing their bullshit at great cost to the taxpayer and promoting it like the public should be happy these snivelling shit weasels are sending billions of pounds to their mates and vested interests around the world. But in all honesty, the only reason they can get away with it is because most people don't realise when a political party says they will spend 30 billion on this or 100 billion on that, they actually mean they will spend 100 billion pounds of your tax money that could have been used for something the public can actually use. You know, like infrastructure or deporting foreign criminals and illegal immigrants, stopping the boats crossing the channel, bringing in hundreds of illegal migrants every single day. And obviously, that is just to name a few things that it could be spent on. Instead, they would rather spend it on overpriced bollocks while ferrying half the world into the UK, driving wages down and fucking up the country in general. All while you pay for it, of course. Now, it has to be said that the government sort of has the right to spend money since they are the elected government under the piss-poor system that we have, even if I don't agree with it. But what really takes the cake is Labour announcing a new £30 billion plan to revive UK manufacturing despite them actually holding no power at all, and obviously being led by an incompetent fuck pig known as Captain Hindsight. This £30 billion fantasy they have involves 400,000 green jobs or some shit like that. Because much like Joe Swinson, I guess Starmer thinks he will become the next Prime Minister. We all know how that ended up going. Like her, he is obviously living in a fantasy land. Even with the corrupt and piss-poor Tory party, Labour are still unelectable. With some idiot in that party thinking the bribe of spending £30 billion on green jobs will win back red wall seats. That had obviously once been safe Labour strongholds. This is clearly delusional, plain and simple, because that is not what these voters want. In fact, I don't think Labour could ever give them what they want. At this point, only a fucking idiot would vote for the anti-British scum known as the Labour Party. And in fact, the same goes for the Tories. They are no better than Labour at this point, if I'm honest. At least though, the Tories, I guess, have some power. Labour are talking all this shit with the political power of a grapefruit and likely the same levels of public support that Tony Blair has at this point, which is certainly saying something, because it's fucking none, as you all know.